Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a new product called the ATS120. Now, if you've seen the ATS100, then you might be familiar with this. However, the ATS120 has a color 2.4 inch TFT touchscreen, which as you can see is mounted vertically. Now the front panel hosts the main screen along with three push buttons, which are used for powering on, along with locking the VFO and clearing any Bluetooth speaker connections. Yep, this little radio can connect automatically to a nearby Bluetooth speaker. Now I'll show you that later in the video. There's also a built-in speaker, which is on the front panel. So it's always facing the user for better clarity. However, don't expect hi-fi quality from this speaker as it's quite small. But with the Bluetooth speaker feature or using headphones, you can still get the best sound quality from this little radio. On the bottom, we find a single 3.5 millimeter socket, which in fact is used for connecting to an external antenna, which can improve reception quality as opposed to the inbuilt telescopic antenna. Now, more about this later. On the top, we find a rotary control, which is used for changing settings like volume or squelch level, but its main purpose is to control the VFO. Also, a status LED, USB-C charge port, and another 3.5 mm headphone socket, which is for your headphones. Incidentally, this port will also use the headphone cable as an antenna for the FM band, similar to those that we find on Android phones that have built-in FM receivers. An 82 cm telescopic antenna is also built in, which extends easily and has a quality feel to it. To power on the ATS120, simply hold the top front facing button for a couple of seconds. The ATS120 will then start to boot up and you will shortly be presented with the main screen. Now the very top row has a line of indicators showing information such as selected band, frequency step, bandwidth and along with AGC. Below this is the main frequency display and if you touch parts of the frequency, you can select which digit the rotary encoder will change. You can also change the steps using the step button, but tapping on the frequency location is a lot quicker. Below this information, the received signal strength is shown. However, for me, this was not accurate at all and more or less an indication that the ATS120 was actually receiving something. In fact, it seemed to be more accurate on the FM broadcast band than it did sub 30 megahertz. Now below this, we have a volume setting indicator, including a voltage level, which shows the voltage of the internal battery, which the specification state is a 1200 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. The 12 function buttons are all accessed by touch. And to be fair, the touch screen does work pretty well. The touch panel feels to be resistive rather than capacitive, but I guess that's to keep the cost of production down. Although it does work really well. So the ATS120 covers from 153 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz and then 64 megahertz up to 108 megahertz for the FM broadcast band. Unfortunately, there's no VHF or airband support. Now sub 30 megahertz AM and SSB are supported so you can listen to ham radio communications on upper or lower sideband. The ATS120 has some preset bands and a dedicated button that says ham allows you to choose the ham band in which you want to listen to. So you don't have to flick through all of the frequencies using the encoder just to get to where you want to listen to. For fine tuning, you can use the encoder and then use the mode button if you need to change the mode of modulation. Now today is an extremely bad day for receiving HF, anything sub 30 megahertz on the ham bands. So making a video about this product today has been quite challenging especially as I wasn't able to receive much with the telescopic antenna while outside. Now, one thing I did notice though, was that the display is pretty darn hard to see when it's sunny. So just bear that in mind if you're looking to get one of these. Now, when you can see the screen, it is actually rather good. Now, as the bands are pretty much rubbish today, most likely due to the thunderstorm we had yesterday, I'm gonna hook this up to my outside end-fed half-wave antenna. But to do so, I need to make an adapter cable using a 3.5 millimeter plug. So here I'm just going to solder an old patch cable that I have, which has an SMA male on one end. The other end is blank. So to this blank end, I'll solder on a 3.5 millimeter plug. 
The tip is the main antenna connection, while the outer is essentially the ground. You can use a multimeter to confirm this if you're going to make this type of cable yourself. And with the antenna hooked up, it's now time to scan the bands and see what we can hear. I'll tell you, a couple of three weeks ago when I was down in States there, uh, I thought, I do not miss this one. <laughs> The UK payrolls have hit 30 million, which is more than a million than the period before COVID. Uh, and on top of that, we also learned that pay growth is very strong. In fact, basic pay is growing at the fastest pace since records began. Really, I think everyone just wants to let the police get on with um, their job um, and, you know, keep city residents uh, safe as they as they always uh, do. Well, now when using the Bluetooth speaker feature, the FM broadcast radio band can be received with just the internal telescopic antenna. When using Bluetooth, all you need to do is put your Bluetooth speaker into pairing mode and the ATS120 will then connect to it automatically. To clear the Bluetooth connection, you can press and hold the bottom right function button on the front panel of the ATS120, or of course you can just turn off the power. Now for this test, I'm just using my ready receiver that I reviewed a few videos back, as this has an outstanding speaker. Now the Bluetooth transmitted audio does sound really good, something that I'm not sure will translate over video. Of course, I can't demonstrate music playing because of copyright, but here's a little demonstration of using the ATS120 with Bluetooth. Malinka, as a huge, huge fan of the Jacksons, and of course of, 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 of Michael, of course, uh, how is the family? The family well, everyone keeping well and looking after each other? Yes, everyone's, you know, we're no different than any other family. Everyone's doing great. Everyone's doing fine. You know, we're out there traveling, doing shows, and when we're home, you know, we go our separate ways because we have our own families. So there we go. That's the ATS-120 Pocket HF and FM Broadcast Radio. Now, let me know what you think about this down in the description. Did any of you notice the whooshing sound when you're changing frequencies? I think that's quite common with these SI chipsets in these type of radios. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.